Today on Drawly, we are drawing... Skate. The word is skate. Don't be late. <laughs> oh my gosh. I'm going home. <laughs> <laughs> Click that subscribe button if you are new around here. And comment below with other theme and prompt ideas for us. So there, I feel like there were a few different directions we could have gone with skate, but we both really? happened to do skateboarders. I really wanted to do a guy on roller skates. I knew I wanted to do vintage 80s. Ah. My search for a reference image though was not as forthcoming as I expected it to be. I expected to be able to just search and get an image of exactly what I wanted. Okay. And eventually I found this guy and I was quite satisfied with him. He's cool. Yeah, he's super cool. Look at his mustache. Look at that mustache. Look at his I could grow a mustache gloves. like that. You can? I can grow the world's thickest mustache. It's my Italian side. But uh, I can't I can't grow a super thick beard. I can grow a beard, but not not crazy. Look but the mustache? Mm. Yeah, I'm all about it. And the curve <laughs> of his nose. The curve cool. of his nose. And his hair and his helmet. Now his little bright colored shorts, very 80s. Mm. His tube socks. I am all about it. it 80s is, it is very 80s. are so in and I'm here for it. 100%. So you you specifically went into this challenge thinking 80s. Absolutely, 80s 100%. Honestly, if I had the ability, I would have given him like a very 80s themed background. Um, but I didn't. I just went with what the background was. I, I would have, so if it was like 80s skate, I would have immediately gone to um, like roller derby That's or what um, I was saying. or uh, what's the, what's like the thing called where uh, you go to a restaurant, like a drive in restaurant? Oh, yeah. Is that just called a drive in? Sonic used to do that, right? Or wait. A lot of things used to do it. I think Sonic still does it. Yeah. This episode of Drumly is Sonic. Sonic go get yourself the job. A, a foot long hot dog or whatever they sell there now. I haven't been in a long time. They sell bad, bad hot dogs. We don't know. We've never been there. <laughs> I have been, been there. I've been there like once when I was a teenager. We went when we... we we, yes. Oh yeah. yeah I when had a we Sonic like, by me in my old place. Yeah, we did go. And I feel like things, it, it just went south. Our, yeah, we went the south. The order got messed up. Well, it was south from here. It was south from where we live. <laughs> Let's stay on track here, okay? We're discussing skate. Yes, we are disgusting skates. Oh, disgusting skates. I specifically wanted a guy with a mustache. The end. That's the whole motivation here, too. I love it. For uh, 80s. I specific was there anything that you particularly wanted to work on with this challenge? I really was hoping to bring in some bright colors. I just wanted to try to capture an overall feel and aesthetic. I didn't do that. But I like that that was my intention. What about you? I like that we both went in sketching and then started blocking over top of that. Uh, but I'm curious to see here, if because I've not seen your footage yet, if you will block in like all the big stuff like I'm doing or if you'll just do it one small section at a time. One small section at a time. I used up the bulk of my time sketching in this guy. And well, when it came, I think it looks good. Yeah, when it came down it to great. adding the color, I was almost out of time. So I just blocked it in as quickly as I could because yeah. I'm, I try, I try to stay true. Occasionally I've gone way, way over, but for the most part right now, I'm trying to, trying oh, in to terms stay true to an hour. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> I set half hour timers on my watch so that I can know when it's time to start focusing on the the finishing touches. <laughs> I've been trying really hard lately to work on my ability to pick a color based on just visuals alone. And it has been tough. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so uh, I wanted to do like the general pose of this skateboarder and just kind of get the vibe of it. Mm -hmm. And then I was kind of trying to make it like a little street arty uh, mm -hmm. and just like, I don't, I don't know. I feel like mine kind of goes a 90s direction. Yeah, almost. yours, totally. Yours kind of goes like an 80s direction. Mine almost feels like an N64 polygonal yeah. game. <laughs> like, th this is like, there. there's a video game series called Skate. This was like Skate Alpha. That's <laughs> what my character alpha. is here. I love that. I'm not familiar with it, but I hear you and I love it. Um... No, I like how it's turning out. I like your pose. You did a really good job blocking in his, uh, what's the word? Gesture? Gesture and his proportions. Proportions, I feel like, are really good oh. with this guy. Yeah. yeah, there's some stuff that I, I tweak. Question, do you end up giving him his butt back? <laughs> do I give him <laughs> his butt back? Uh, As you can see, you have hacked off 
a large sizable chunk of it and i'm sure that does no justice to the to the absolute cake on that man uh the cake on that oh my god <laughs> uh yeah i do i do uh fix and clean up some of the butt uh i add some some more junk it to looks the drawer. like you have hacked it off <laughs> <laughs> well look that's my style that's my it aesthetic. does contribute to the overall aesthetic i have to say if you add it back on maybe that's going to take away from your like stretched out lanky skater vibe no it does it does get back in and uh i think just now i'm starting to add some of these dark shapes so, so. is this an image of you do you skate like that have yeah. you ever skated like that I I have skated exact. This is this move right here. It's mm -hmm. called a flyby. Is it? Or are you making that up? Because I don't know, and I will have to believe everything you say because I don't know. Well, yeah, I'm a yeah, I'm kind of a professional skateboarder. Oh, do for, tell. At what age did you achieve for, your peak professionalism? Four. Four. Yeah. Four. Not yeah. fourteen. No. Four. Well, yeah, I got started right out of the womb skating. <laughs> And by four, I by four, had already were gone pro. burnt out, smoking a pack a day, just like, ugh, you'd, you'd hurt a lot of your joints. Well, I, I, I shouldn't have done this, but I stuck with it for another year, so mm -hmm. I, I stayed until I, in the game until I was five. Oh, so, man. Yeah. They say you shouldn't stay too late in these kinds of games. You, I was really hurt. big for a five-year-old. So. You're really tall, <laughs> yeah. You're a tall fella. <laughs> have you ever skateboarded before, Abby? I've gotten onto a skateboard. I've played with my little siblings' ripsticks, and I've actually. I have been able also to played with your little siblings' ripsticks. You were pretty. You were a good I, natural at those. I did. Uh, I did learn how to do it. Yeah. Yeah. Every Christmas I, they try to teach me again. I have to learn all over again. <laughs> I may not have ever uh, really skateboarded growing up. Sorry to break the illusion, but I did a lot of wakeboarding, snowboarding, skiing, water skiing. Uh, kneeboarding. Wow, like I did all the, along. I did a lot of, <laughs> a lot of physical activities that involved coordination. So I could kind of pick up that stuff pretty quick. Yeah, but, I uh, didn't. I, I, did, I, I did have a skateboard as a kid, and it actually, just crazy brain blast moment here. But uh, it had a, uh, oh god, what's what's the show called? Uh, Rocket Power. It had what? Rocket pow Power what? characters on the bottom of the skateboard. Oh my gosh, that's amazing. I was it very you go young. Fast. <laughs> uh, and I don't think I ever rode the skateboard like normally. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I wanted the skateboard or if it was something my grandparents got for me or something. I really don't remember. But all I remember about this skateboard is riding it, uh, sitting on it at the top of my grandparents' driveway and riding it down nice. into the garage door. Very Tony Hawk. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> I did a that lot. Was, of... That probably was around the age of like four to six. That like, would be a four to six year old move. We did the same thing with my grandma's rolling gardening tool. She had these little gardening carts. Wait, you carts could ride it? Oh. That had, had four wheels and they were like a skateboard, but they sat like a foot off the ground okay. or so. And we'd sit on those and roll down the hill in the backyard. Wow. One time I crashed into one of my cousins and I think I might have broken my nose. I don't know. Whoa. It hurt a lot. Is that why your nose is super like. 90 degree angle yeah. from my face. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's crazy. I can I smell things only to the right, never oh. to the left. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny though, because your sense of smell has been gone because of COVID. Oh yeah. It it's coming back though, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Well, you know what I do for a living. Oh, no, I'm just kidding. Right. The hospital. <laughs> the hospital. Yeah, um, great place to work if you want to catch COVID multiple times. <laughs> yeah. On a COVID floor, taking care of COVID patients. Thank, thank you for your work. Thank you for all the help that you're doing for the our race of humanity also here's some here's some here's <laughs> diseases. some COVID <laughs> yeah that's okay I was I'm young and I can uh, take it and just have an okay time with it <laughs> not an okay time but yeah. a better time than a lot of people um so like I was saying I actually wanted to do a guy who was roller skating I just couldn't find one with mm. and I wanted roller blades because I loved roller blading oh and oh, I also yeah. had a uh, Heelys as a kid I had Heelys I loved too. my Heelys do you see this <laughs> genuine giant scar on my elbow oh, that no. I'm showing From you right Heelys? now yeah. this is actually from from Healy's. That's amazing. If if you ever meet me in person, just say, Ben, let me see that Healy scar. And I'll be like, it's, it's right here. This it's is right the here on my It elbow. is actually a nasty gash. Uh, it looks like it. Yeah. Wow. Pretty grody. I really want to go rollerblading today because, not today, but in this day and age because of two reasons. Number one, in this day and age, I want to do it because it looks like a ton of fun. Yeah. And I want to do it because it's I want to make a rollerblading outfit or roller skating. This is what I don't get. Roller I would dress like this guy for roller sure. Roller skates are in style, okay? You can buy them at Altered State right now. 
and they're mm. beautiful. But I don't want a roller skate. You I want a blade. roller blade. And and everybody says that roller blading is like really nerdy and dorky. But roller skating what? for whatever reason is hot. Roller blading in. is cool. And what I want to make an about? outfit for this purpose. Roller blading is 10 times S cooler than roller skating. 70s S. Roller skating is easy mode. Yeah, I roller don't want to easy mode. That's where it takes some balance. And somebody, skill. Li I literally, I told somebody that, and they were just like, "Abby, no," and I was like, "What? No! This sounds like so much fun." <laughs> I remember being a kid going to the roller rink, which I don't think roller rinks exist anymore. They do. <laughs> oh my gosh, that reminds me of where I used to live in um, that. Okay, I'll say, in Norwood. Okay, I'm, I lived in Norwood. <laughs> and right down the road from me, there was this abandoned roller skater rink. Okay. And it looked like you could have a whole Five Nights at Freddy's situation oh, in God. there. It had like all the old signs out, like <laughs> birthday creepy. parties through August Ew. on the old sign out Covered front. in cobwebs. <laughs> Everything, it's vines everywhere. It'd be so cool Ooh. to like break it in and have this underground, like 21 and up, adults only roller skating. Yeah, but it wasn't running with, anymore, like, a bar. right? That's, no, what I, exactly. that's what I'm saying. That's Roller rinks don't exist really anymore. Well, that one doesn't, but they do. <laughs> okay. They just exist where people raise families more consistently, like up oh. north from us. That's where all the suburbs are and all the families are. Gotcha. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, I remember when I was young going to the roller rink, and, you know, if you were roller skating, you were kind of lame. But if you were rollerblading, you were like, yeah, what's up? Ah, uh, how the turntables. All the, all these chicks are totally digging my like cool seven-year-old moves out yeah. here on the roller rink as I slam into the wall because that's the only way I know how to stop. <laughs> that's interesting that you say that because I remember now like when I was rollerblading and roller, whatever I was doing, I was young enough. The last time I did it, I was young enough that I didn't care what boys thought yet. Whoa. Yeah. So I must have been young. I don't remember being like interested in boys at all at that age or yeah so i just time. remember i just remember how bad the shoes smelled and i remember <laughs> that there was air hockey there oh, that's what i remember we about had air hockey rink. in the basement and we were really good for a little Whoa, while nice i lost all that skill now i'm really bad air hockey is a great way to like smash a finger i, I always play with my fingers all pinched up around the, oh, like you're chopping the, chopping some food just to be careful i don't want my fingers to get pinched it's a good way to practice your cooking skills oh yeah <laughs> <laughs> So you are, I see you erasing some of your lines. Like what? Yeah, because I Are you planned... painting over top of the lines or underneath them? Uh, underneath, which is why I erased them a little bit to give this rainbow area more space to breathe. Uh -huh. My plan is to change the color of the sketch lines afterwards to a more muted tone so that they can still be a part of the life and energy of this piece wow. without being so blatantly red. I do like sketching in red though, because I can just, I can see it so easily. That's actually something I've started to do recently. I So I try to sketch with like a little bit of color in my lines, but, um, and this is not a good example, because I think I sketched this in black and then I made it red later because mm -hmm. it kind of gave it a cool effect. But recently I've started sketching in this dark saturated red, uh, and I've been doing that a lot. I just kind of kind of mm. like that color. Mm -hmm. so, yeah. yeah, that's a good color for it. I've just been cleaning up the outside of mine because my initial sketch was yeah. incredibly messy. And uh, you can actually see some of that. Oh, there yeah. Just now. Yeah, uh, you but, are doing a good job. Yeah, I, I, I don't really do a ton more with this. I try to like spice it up and make it more visually interesting mm -hmm. and I at this point I am not really even looking at my reference I'm just like trying to do some give it some like fun graphic nature. I like when I get to that point where I hide the reference and I just kind of go with what I have at this point I am obviously not very close to done I am actually frantically blocking in Frantic. images and my pencil died for a moment oh no um so I had to figure out how to make that start back up what wait did your pen actually die or yeah oh it like disconnected I think it, I remember that I think we were together actually yeah because I was really confused because I went to check the batteries on it and the battery was fully charged i don't know what happened it just like bluetooth disconnected I, that must have been it i wonder how i did that i don't know my pen issues if you remember a while back i kept having pen problems mm -hmm. that was actually a problem with my pen nib we discovered and i continue to have that problem because i go through pen nibs like it's nobody's business mm, you do and we have the same paper screens on our ipad so i feel like i should be going through them at the same rate the paper screen i love 
like, I feel like I'm too used to the feel of it now. If I were to remove it, I think I would not enjoy drawing on the glass. Oh, I struggled when I just had, I got that, that paper screen right away. Cause I felt like I slipped and slid all over the place. I couldn't dream of creating like a straight line. <laughs> I'm used to it. Cause my Wacom tablet here is glass. So oh. I'm kind of, that, you know, that's what I am used to. So it's not like a huge deal for me, mm -hmm. but I go through pen nibs really crazy fast because of this new like rough texture mm -hmm. that we have. If you guys are unfamiliar, I forget what it's called, like paper, paper feel. feel or something. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's pretty It's pretty nice though. It gives it a nice texture yeah. to your tablet when you're drawing. But because of the pressure that I use, I guess, I guess I press really we must, hard. Yeah, have very different like physical styles. It's because my muscles are too big. You're just so strong and you poke your pencil all the way. <laughs> All the way through the Slam iPad. Slam your hand on the table. Gosh, yeah, so passionate. <laughs> so passionate about my big muscles. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> There's a whole TikTok sequence right go that's hot right now. Mm, tell me about it. Where people redraw cartoon characters as huge muscles. Oh, yeah. Days. And it's always like Mickey or like Mickey. Goofy. There's a Mickey Goofy one. I'm, I've been sending you all these. You haven't checked the talks I've sent you I, recently. I'm been. sorry. I've not checked There's the There's a talks. whole SpongeBob series as well. Wow. Those are the two big main ones, I feel like. They, maybe that's an art challenge we should do. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Drawing, yeah. uh, Cartoon characters. Some random character muscular. as like hugely muscular. <laughs> like I love how they have these weird plots. If you don't know what these are, you need to look these up because they are like absolutely crazy. They are so <laughs> It's like funny. Mickey Mouse getting dumped by Minnie and then it like transitions to Mickey being like looking sad and then he's like, you know what? And then it transitions to him and he's like, they're always in bodybuilder poses. Like Mickey's got his hands behind his head with, with his arms up. With elaborately drawn muscles. And they are even rendered in that old, I, 90s style bodybuilder sketch like do you know what i'm talking about mm -hmm. those that sketch style of like crazy super muscular bodybuilders like it is definitely <laughs> a style and that is the only thing that i can think to describe it as <laughs> it's definitely a 90s style muscles really went out of style after the 90s no like the way it is rendered like down yeah. to the the color that they use with the pencil yeah like it is a specific mm. style Hmm. Well, I did say a moment ago I knew what you were talking about, and I was just going along with it because you sounded like you were super interested. I don't have any idea, but <laughs> <laughs> but that's cool. But that's cool. <laughs> wow. How many things that I talk about do you just like? <laughs> yeah, 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 for sure. I pick my battles. <laughs> I pick my my. Oh no, tell me more. <laughs> oh, okay, I'll be listening for those in the future. <laughs> this guy's face is awesome. You did such oh, a good job on sketching that. I loved that. it. I kind of muddied it up when I added the color. So let's I don't just think so. let's just appreciate it right now. I do not think so. And it's unmuddied state. Thank you. As long as your forms are good, like I, I think like you're you're pretty much a shoo to like get it down from there. Yeah, I think your guy, he looks so sharp now. <laughs> He's now, something. Yeah, and I'm still trying to just frantically block in colors here. So with that in mind, bearing that in mind, uh, looking at my piece, what would you, what would your own post-mortem analysis be? Of you? Uh-huh. Um, you seem to have a habit of starting at the feet and working your way up. I would say just try to block it all in in the beginning in terms of like main shapes. So like, you know, just grab a red color for the helmet, a skin tone for the whole face. And uh, that will help give it that undertone for areas that you don't fill in mm. instead of having that kind of grayish color that you have mm -hmm. showing through in a couple areas. Oh, I like that. Uh, so that in just terms of workflow, I mm -hmm. think is fine. But I, I love your, your artwork here. I think it turned out awesome. I have absolutely no room to talk here. Uh, by comparison. <laughs> oh, you're erasing those little scuffy marks by a skateboard. I feel like you could have left those in for like a more grunge effect. Grunge. But no, I like the cleanliness like of it. Grunge effect. Yeah. Yeah, he's, he's all over the place. He's I, I, I could have done a lot here. I like yeah. how what you did with his background and how saturated he is. I give him a little outline there. 
I like see. that he only has half a butt. <laughs> yeah, he's a he's a skinny skateboarding dude. That's just how he works. It's kind of like graphic. That's kind of the vibe Ooh, I wanted to cool, go for. Right there, where you have it now. Yeah, I ruin it. Don't worry. Don't worry. I know I do that all the time. I'm like, wow, it looks really good right there, and then I go in and do a bunch of stuff. Yeah, I shouldn't have blurred this. I I'm not a fan no, of like big blurry good. gradient backgrounds. I always yeah. think gradient backgrounds look horrible. So I don't know why I did it. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love your guy so much. He's so cool. Thanks. I'm so jealous. I love yours so much. In terms of in terms of postmortem for me, what what can you do? Help me out. There is only one thing that I see that you would oh my say, gosh. "Oh yeah, maybe you're right." And his arms, your lines for his arms are very parallel with each other. Oh my god! And that's something you have told me about in the past is you want to avoid parallel lines if you can. Yes. So maybe that would be all. And his head's maybe a little small, but that's all. <laughs> <laughs> and his hood opening also has parallel lines. It does. Um, and he's a very organic creature, so maybe reduce your parallelogram. But everything else is just like awesome. And it, it really does not detract from the piece. That's really just makes him fit into that polygonal, like polygonal oh, yeah. old school style. Yeah. He, he is an N64 character. 100%. Your guy looks amazing. Oh, thank you. S tier artwork from Abby here. <laughs> we can even see some of the flowy lines still in there. Like, oh, look how cool guess. that is. Everybody is looking at this right now and like, oh my God, oh, that's no. the I wish, thing ever. I wish my color work could be more vibrant and the more of no, a contrast no. with the background. No, no, the downplay is cool. It looks good. I All like the how his shorts turned well. out. I think his shorts are good, but that's that's my that's my highlight. <laughs> well, hey, click that subscribe button if you are new around here and want to see more cool skateboarders. And comment below with other cool things we can draw, like cool skateboarders. <laughs> oh, roller skaters. Oh, roller skaters. Ooh, so different. <laughs> and this is the part where we say goodbye, goodbye everybody. <laughs> We should find a roller rink that's active and go rollerblading. We should bring all the champs in. Roller rink party. Let's oh go. Oh my gosh. Pizza party, roller rink party. I love it. Pizza rink. Pizza rink. Is that a thing? Pizza rink-a-dink. I don't know. <laughs>